Hi there guys and welcome to another Train Sim 2020 video. Today we are looking at the newly released, literally an hour ago, uh, updated ZZA uh, pack from Just Trains. Uh, this is available over on JustTrains.com, uh, JustTrains.net I think it actually is, um, for free, which is really nice considering the price and structure of late. Um, so I'm very, very pleased to see this and I'm very, very pleased to see it has stayed free. What a great little addition. So from what <coughs> I could gather, uh, it's had some texture upgrades. Um, it's had them upscaled, and it's got there's a, there's, a, there's like a good few reskins that come with it as well. So it's a really nice little pack. They've updated some of the snow effects and things like that as well. So it's pretty cool. I'm very very happy with it because as you guys know, if you'd watched the last snowplow video I did, snowplow operations are one of my favourite things uh, on the railways. Something just really cool about them that I just kind of love mail and snow trains in the snow full stop i don't really care what it is as long as it's in the snow is uh pretty nice so what's that the 4th of march one um i'm really really pleased to get my hands on this and give this a quick go tonight for you so i picked the wary line scenario because it uses the 37 um, and of course, the VP the VP the AP thirty seven has uh, the snow textures. It it does show up a slight difference in the, the texture in between the two, but of course, one is a payware pack, one isn't. So, let's be honest, we can't complain. Right, this morning you were tasked with ploughing the line between Norwich and Lowestoft. This un unusual formation is one of is one plough and two Class 37 locomotives took place on the 3rd of March 2018, although 37716 has been substituted for 37605s because we don't have 37.7s. You are due to depart at 09.48. Oh, we've got quite a while then. Okay. So we'll have a quick look before we have to nip in and start setting up the loco. Uh, right, things to know about ploughing duties. It's driven from the rear locomotive to aid with uh, visibility. Um, and also max speed's 45 miles an hour. I'm pretty sure that a lot of time they, they plow it a bit slower than that, but I can't seem to find any definitive answer. Uh, it's nice to see the, the snow weathered. There's snow weathered ones, there's unweathered ones, there's ones with the grey on the actual plow bit here. Um, there's some really good variation in the pack, which I'm really, really pleased to see. Originally, this the, the ZZA pack came free anyway. It came in the newsletter. Uh, many, many moons ago. Right. Uh, let's get you set up. Let's put our headlights on. Not that it's going to make the blindest bit of difference at the moment. But they're on anyway. I don't know what the plan is with them. Do you, do you still put them on? I don't know. I'm guessing you still would. There's nothing else we need to do behind here. GSMR. Do we have a head code? 7 Zulu 3 Sim. Seven Zulu three seven. Oh, what's our signal post? And our signal number is five seven two. Right, that's given us plenty of time to set up. I'd like to be able to put my foot warmers on, Richard and Geordie. Non-clickable buttons.
get a move in. So you can see at eight miles an hour at the start. Do low levels of snow. Link this up and see if it, I don't know if it that would work with the drifts on um, the Thompson West Highland line. There's some actual proper snow drifts in there. look cool though, snaking its way out. I always prefer it when it's got another ZZA on the back, which does tend to happen quite often. You wouldn't really be doing too much head out the window with this, would you? I would be really pleased if we got snow every day. Um, I'm really not one of these people that's fussed by the snow. I love it. Absolutely love it. And there are people out there that I know that hate it with a passion, but I hate really hot weather with a passion. Oh, no, don't get me wrong. It's not weather I really, really hate. Drizzly, I'm not a massive fan of. But um, being in sweltering heat, in my style, I'm not a small bloke. Doesn't do me any good. Give me access to aircon and cold beer and a pool. Generally all right. I'm very happy with all three of them. One of the three, I'm, I'm all right. Two of the three, aircon beer or beer and pool. Sounds awesome doing things. So now you can see, now we're going a bit faster, we've got a much bigger amount of snow spray. And if you watch a couple of the videos, you can get this online, you'll, you'll see how big the spray on this thing gets. Imagine being there when this thing's sort of coming towards you. Right, it's warm up a little bit. Makes me feel a little bit chilly watching it, really. There's several different types of snow fighting equipment uh, in the UK, uh, some relatively newish. Uh, there was the 57 Stunners, the Snow Train again, uh, by Network Rail a few years ago for the southern region that had uh, third rail de-ice and stuff. And a small four-wheeled wagon, I can't remember what it was, with a plough on front of that and loads of heavy weights on top. That didn't last very long. Before that you had the Biohack ones, which were the class 40 bogies. 
a great big aggressive looking play out at the front. That's very cool. A lot of them were painted up. I've actually got a picture of me sitting in one of those at uh, Wally. Because uh, one of the model manufacturers did one. It's very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, you have the ZZAs. So these were done on uh, old Steam Loco tenders. Uh, Tom was saying V2s earlier. I'm not a massive Steam fan, so I wouldn't know. Um, but I, it wouldn't surprise me if it was. Um, and then you have snow blowers. So there's two types of snow blower in the UK. There's the smaller version and there's a, a bigger one. Uh, the bigger, the smaller one's been around since sort of early 80s. And then in 1987, it was based up at Inverness, if I remember rightly. And in the big freeze of 87 in Kent, they brought it down for that. And there's some footage out there somewhere of uh, 233s being rescued by this snow blower. This snow blower and it's amazing. But then after that, uh, the big freeze of 87, you ended up with the Network Southeast snow train. Now, I fell in love with this because, I don't know if you guys can remember I Spy books, the pocket books. There was I Spy on the railways. And it was one of the books, I've spoken about it many times, it's one of the ones that um, taught me about class numbers and things like that, which said class 37. And uh, the, the new snowblower that they had then was had a massive great big red front, blue and SE white stripes. And it was just a beaut to behold. And I think it was worth about 400 points or something. And I remember lying, writing in the book, going, I've seen this, ticking the thing, going, because I lived in Scotland. It was about five. Um, it was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. But I've fell in love with it since. And I have seen it once or twice. Uh, never saw it in blue. Uh, I've seen it uh, twice now in... Well, I know for a fact I've seen it twice now in Network Row Yellow. One of those was on Saturday at the uh, on the way into Glasgow Central on the right hand side, rather than bit. One of the little ones and the big ones. Now I've never seen one of the little snow blowers in real life, so it was a first for me as well. I saw the big one, which I was very, very happy to see. So they're still out there and operate. I don't know how much usage the big ones had um, in anger. Has it been used in anger properly? For, I don't know. I'm sure it probably has. Um, but this said today run was the last time I know of said today's going out and doing some proper some clearing, uh, especially in East Anglia. I'm sure there's been other occasions up north. In fact, I think there was some last year, wasn't there? But I also just have this thing for trains in the snow. Uh, with a snow plow or not, I think the trains are awesome with backgrounds of snow. Something about that feeling of that kind of trying to immerse yourself that little bit more, isn't there? And could you imagine yourself actually being out and doing this and it being bitterly cold outside? How much a how much fun they must have doing these runs. I mean, th you cannot lie. This must be a cracked drive. Two thirty sevens ploughing in snow. There also must be an element of sort of brown trouser moments. Not really been able to see what's ahead of you. Not catching signals properly. nerve-wracking as well. I'm sure the guys that do it are very, very experienced and used to it, but I'm sure there's one time in their life it would have been quite scary. Ah, oh, that's wicked. I've just become an uncle uh, for the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh time. <laughs> cool. Baby born, 2105. 
Excellent. Ah, oh, look, a bit of snow, snow plow, and a new baby. Must be pretty happy as well. The original 37 on the back of this set was a 37.7. So it had the uh, like the B Mac and Y pack lights on the back, on the, well back and front. You know what I mean? On the end. It was one of the original ones that uh, DPS uh, D DRS overhauled, I think. Now, uh, the other thing you need to know about trains that have the <clears throat> um, they're used for ZZA stuff have to have MSPs. So these, <clears throat> or from what I've heard, this may not be the truth anymore, but it definitely was in one of the books I've got. So, from a book, must be real. Um, MSPs, miniature snowplows. So anything that pushes ZZAs must have MSPs. So I'm trying to think what I've actually seen do these in real life. 37s. An awful lot of 37s. Did we get some 66 action at one point with them? Or did I make that up because I had that scenario with them? Now it's different to what is... Um, what can move them from site to site. These things move around an awful lot. Uh, but they, uh, when they're being used in anger, I mean, there's a 20 picture of 20 moving it. 66s have used the smaller, the bell height ones, by the looks of it. Seven sixty six slash up. No snow on the ground there though. Fifty sevens or are they forty sevens? Forty seven ish to me actually. That's a fifty seven, definitely fifty seven sixty six slash up. Oh, that looks relatively common from DRS, a sixty six fifty seven set but not I haven't seen it actually with snow on it yet. Yeah, the only pictures literally I've seen with <laughs> with actual with actual snow on them is 37s. Oh a 68 with a uh I oh know that I don't think that's coupled up but that's at York. Oh yeah, of course, there was the 50 that did uh, the Minchie Snowplow duties la last year before as well, wasn't there? And the West Coast 37, I forgot about those. Oh, West Coast Railway 47 and a 37. I was doing some actual action there. So before the end today, like this shape, we also had the NER ones. And if you ever watch the British Transport films about the... Is it Ice Gill? For the snow? 
stranded the steam loco. And a load of old boys just get chucked in, in, the, in the actual snowplow. Uh, there's a door on the side there. They get chucked in there with some sandwiches and a flask of tea and sent up to the summit to dig it out. Crazy. All got a bit fast. there. Screenshot for this. Before we move in a bit. Go about there. I wanted it to look quite barren and bleak. Crossings on this Eccle Strait. That's quite nice because you're at a slightly lower level than it. One of the first ever scenarios that I swapped out stock on using Railworks tools was uh, a ZZA scenario on the Bristol Texting run. Um, and I swapped it out with Class 60s.
Do I like that? Not as much. Left, only about ten miles to go now, I think, from where you Not sure what wax is allowed to work down the line when these are going when these are actually working in tricks. No, that looks shonky. Yep, that looks shonky, it's not doing that. There is like the front, yeah, that's the pattern, and that's the very front bit. It's hard to get screens with it. Not that I'm that fast, because the only thing I use screenshots for are the videos. I know people that literally have TS just to get to frame pictures for screenshots. And do sort of rail fanning scenarios. That's cool, if that's what floats your boat. Imagine how satisfying it would be if you could actually see what you were clearing and you did actually end up clearing stuff. That would be awesome.
also if you're in the front, this bit does just tend to get covered in snow. So you really wouldn't see anything. Been on the desk too long. I'm hoping for some good weather. Like, uh, and by that I mean what people think is bad. Some good snow this year. One of the reasons I want to see it is I want to see what a lot of the new stocks going to stand up to in the snow. Because remember, a lot of our stock doesn't like the snow. An awful lot of our stock doesn't like the snow. Even my beloved 91s don't like the snow. Never really have done. 317s, 321s, 455s. Nothing Thyroid Rail really likes the snow or ice at all. see what like the Stadlers can do because they'll all have they've all got AC traction gear <coughs> um, so we're not looking at the same sort of issues as DC stuff cooling's always been a big problem because that's where the snow tends to get in on traction mower bloaters uh, mower bloaters blow up motors Takes what you'd end up in, especially in the EMUs, 321s, and all that jazz. 317s, you get snow, and the axle hung traction motor build up, and ice would build up, snow and ice would build up, snow and ice would build up, and it'd be melting on the inside. So, what happened is it'd melt in and it'd seep inside the, the actual traction motors themselves. Uh, with the 91s, it was coming through the air intakes, uh, then heating up and dripping down. Uh, into uh, high tension boxes basically shorten those out then they sorted that out and then it was traction motors I think give them a bit of chip as well in later life Three seven three Euro Eurostars same issue snow would collect as soon as it went into the tunnel it would snow would melt because the tunnel was warm and bleak in this route in the winter, isn't it? But I quite like that. It's quite like that in real life.
Mmm, I love that sound. So here it came between the two sides. Oh. And you think I was never a big thrash merchant? I love the sound of a good engine working, of course, don't get me wrong. But it was the 37s, it was uh, doing a recording for the 37s, it was doing a recording for these actually with Armstrong Powerhouse that gave me the bug for it. seeing white in my dreams tonight. Quite cool watching our 37 in front move when I, when I've done the wary lines trips um, with 37s. I've quite often looked through the end gangway door. Oh, am I going to sneeze? It's not good. Oh, right, sneeze done. Uh, looking through the gangway just and seeing the wobble of the locomotive. left. I really enjoyed this. You guys might not enjoy it as much as I have. Um, this is definitely a scenario for playing at home by yourself, I think. Especially the cold winter's evening when you've got a fire going or something nice like that. Or at least just the heating on even. It's a nice one before Christmas. I'm really pleased that Just Trains have released it in the model they've done as well. I think that's fantastic. Um, on some way to make up for the way they've been these past few months. Do note you will still need a Just Trains account for this. Uh, so it will still need your Just Trains account, name and address, all that jazz, phone number. Don't know why, but it does.
just looks really cool. Seeing this just makes me want some more ships in um, TS Classic. Last time I was in Lowestoft, it was flooded and I couldn't get home. And this time I come virtually and it's snowing, which is nice. Should just get under eight mile an hour and it should stop. <coughs> the snow flying up the front, that is. Just like that. Would it be nice to have it toggleable? If I'm honest. See if that can be done. All right, and guys, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. As I said, this is available free over at justtrains.net. Take a look over there, download it if you please. Uh, for all your other good things you will need, head over to alantomsasim.com and uh, need a tech support, head over to the Facebook group. And don't forget to join us on Twitch on a Sunday from 7pm and a Wednesday from 7pm for a more adult themed uh, pub style atmosphere talking about trains. Great run driver, go and warm yourself up, work up. Uh, that is exactly what I'm about to do, go to my bed. So once again guys, thanks ever so much, catch us next time.